Superstar, superstar. Now, Leanne Battersby has been living it up in Spain after she double-crossed Danny. But in real life, soap fans will know the girl behind Leanne has started her own family. Now she's back for her first TV appearance since little Harry entered the world. In Coronation Street, she's Leanne Battersby. Let's meet Jane Danson. <laughs> Then grab a dossier, get your kecks off, and we can do it together. Uh, my character is Leanne Battersby in Coronation Street. Ladies, I'll bog off you. A uh, bit rough and ready, and very, very feisty. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Leanne! Leanne, stop! Oh, no, Leanne. Her main problem is she's got a big mouth and she doesn't know when to shut up. <laughs> now, are you going to pay me or not? I can't, Leanne. I've told you. You twisting cow! When she first arrived, she sort of shook the cobbles a little bit with her sister, Toya. What took you? Oh, it took us ages to get keys. Did you do the shopping? Oh, no, this is Scotch Miss. Hey, don't cheat your dad. She was kind of described as a second-hand Spice Girl because she had horrendous <laughs> hair, and bleached hair at the front, and was just very in your face. <laughs> She's been through a whole kind of range of emotions. She's got married. She got pregnant. She had an abortion. I'm so scared. She had an affair with her boyfriend's dad. Tell me! The person I've been seeing is living. She's just a vulnerable kid at the end of the day, and um, I, I am quite protective of her. Because Leanne is such a strong, bolshy, nasty character sometimes, you're kind of tied with that brush as well. So I'm hoping that people will, will get to know Jane a little bit better than they know Leanne. I hope that I can just get out there and belt one out and not go out of tune. <laughs> Thanks, Christ. <laughs> Stirring things up in Coronation Street. Let's see if Jane's performance tonight has managed to stir something up in the judges. Martine, what did you make of it? Um, I think you really, really perform it. You really do. You've got a great energy. You've got a lovely little figure. You're such a pretty little thing. But I think that um, I don't think it was the right choice of song. I agree. Um, and do you? Because yeah, I, because I, I think that something like a Kylie song, a classic pop song, something that you could really camp up and be really glamorous would be great. And I also think that. They haven't made the most of how pretty you are. <laughs> I don't think Thank they you. have. I think they could make you look even more gorgeous. I do. Oh, bless you. Thank okay. you. <laughs> All right, Martine. Let's see. Uh, Chris, do you agree with Martine's comments? Um. Yeah, it's kind of it's kind of almost frustrating because the pussycat dogs, sorry dolls, there's a whole there's a whole pack of them. There's a whole pack of them. There's only one of you, so it's a bit unfair. And I think you've probably got this inner tigress in you 
And if you get up on this stage again, I want you to unleash it and really go for it. You're acting at the moment almost like you don't want to win this, and that's crazy, because obviously you do. Please, <laughs> just go for it. Grab it by the MTV and go for it. Thank you. OK, and Michael? Yeah, it was a really bad song. Really bad song. I have no idea if you can sing well from, from yes, listening okay. to that. And again, articulation. You were, you were swallowing the words. Get it out there. Blast it out. Okay. You know, that's what you need to yeah, do. Yeah, fair comment. Fair okay. OK, and very quickly, Billy? Wardrobe did such a disservice to you. You popped on a red dress. This is bland. This is boring. Your hair is the same color. I'm not talking about you, Zoe. I'm talking about <laughs> it is bland. It's boring. It's blah. It's Shoot the wardrobe it's department. Not it's not you. Not you tell that wardrobe department to pizzazz you. <laughs> OK, all right. OK, fairly harsh comments there, James. No, I, I, I take that on board. There's a lot of you know things I agree with and obviously disagree with. But if I do make it back tomorrow, I will hopefully try and, and get a bit more confident and enjoy it even more. Okay. It's great. Yes, great everybody time. here in the audience loved it. <laughs> OK, if I don't need a man, it was tonight. But from now on, you at home must select the song. So, Chris, have we got two better choices for Jane tomorrow? Well, I think you should, they should give you a chance with these. The viewers must choose between All Saints, my favourite comeback hit, Rocksteady, or Joni Mitchell's brilliant Big Yellow Taxi. OK, all right. You know which one she wants. <laughs> uh, Jane needs you to choose a song and keep her in the competition. So text Jane 1 for Rocksteady or Jane 2 for Big Yellow Taxi to 63334 or call 09011 3310 and follow the instructions. One more soap start to come before the lines open. But for now, go wild for Jane Danson. <laughs>